Our group's book club book is Internment by Samira Ahmed, and the genre is dystopian. In this story, Layla and her family got separated from her home and boyfriend David because of the new president order that all Muslims are dangerous and imprisoning them. When Layla arrived at the camp, she was introduced to Aisha and Sohil, her new best friends, and a guard named Jake. The camp's conditions are horrible, and the resident realized that it wasn't a camp, but a prison. Due to this, Layla, Aisha, and Sohil, with other prisoners, went on a hunger strike to protest. At another time, pre protesters came from another all around the country and stood outside of the prison, in which Layla's group stood with them and held out a fist. Due to the guard leaking footage of bad conditions, along with protests of other people, the director lost his power. Layla, one of the main characters changes throughout the story. She is always persistent in trying to get out of the camp, but she also becomes more independent, more dependent on other people to help her. At the start of the book, she tries to be independent, other than when she is with her boyfriend. Jake, the prison guard, changes throughout the story because he becomes more vulnerable to Layla and becomes more determined to help Layla escape. While at the start, he is more of a sympathetic, more of just a sympathetic guard. Aisha changes throughout the story because she has to go through the tragedy of Sohil, who she took for granted, and at the end, she takes Layla less for granted. Layla's parents, Ali and Sophia, are important static characters because they are two important people in her life trying to keep her safe. David, her boyfriend, is also a background character because he was an idea that Layla wanted to be with but couldn't because she was being held captive. Both Layla's parents and her boyfriend are important to the story, having a big effect on the outcome while still staying in the background. Figurative language is shown throughout the book multiple times with, while Layla is talking back to the guards through irony and metaphorical references, both when she gets to the camp and while she is there. When she needs to be calmed down, she often references poems or Muslim prayers. Some key passages during the story are in the hunger strike, when Layla wanted to show the Red Cross that they are in danger. Though the Red Cross didn't know this yet, Layla wanted to use this chance to get the Red Cross to help. During the time when the lights were out, Layla and her friends were to, went to the fences. The protester riot in front of the cops, and so he'll jump over the fence and was electrified, causing him to die. Layla realized that escaping will be a lot more dangerous and a lot more necessary. Two major themes in the story of Layla and her family's internment are the themes of never giving up when she continues to try to get set free and the power of love between Layla and her boyfriend and her family and how they tried together to reach their end goal of getting set free.